Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead again. Um, back in the studio room. Guys, we just got the new Homestead box. Now, it's, uh, I'm going to have to expand the camera out a little bit because it's a big box. And in order for me to be able to show it to you, I'm going to see if I can back this thing out a little bit. There we go. Now, this box, I want you to look at the size of this baby. It's, it's a big old box. So, it's, um, we're going to see what's in it. Now, I'm going to open it up. Now, this is the, uh, the Homestead box. It's a, it, it's one of those things, guys, that it comes with all kind of goodies in it for the Homestead. Now, I don't, I'm not quite sure just yet what's in this one, because we just got it in. Now, I like to do a video when we just get them in so that it's kind of fresh on my mind, you know, and I'm like, whoa, and it's like excitement because I'm not sure what's in it. Now, they always send the paper, and I see the edge of it right here sticking in the box. It's called The Ultimate Garden Essentials. Okay. So we're going to, I mean, I could read off what's in it, but we'll pick it up and look at it as we go along. First of all, we got a lot of paper packed in here. A bunch of that, so let's get that out of the way. All right, let me look here. First thing I see is a week by week vegetable gardener's handbook. Okay, let me look in this thing here. Uh, it's chock full of information. Lots of room to write, uh, tips on doing things. So, let me see if I can get that up there where y'all can see that. There we go. Vegetable Gardener's Handbook. Now, it's, uh, it's got a lot of, it's, it, it helps you, reading on it here, it says it helps you to have perfectly timed gardening for your most bountiful harvest ever. So it's an interesting book. It's called A Week by Week Vegetable Gardener's Handbook um, by Ron Kujow Kujowski and Jennifer Kujowski. So that's the authors of it. And uh, it tells you what, uh, basically, let me just look at it here a minute. Um, tells you about the location of a garden, tells you how to determine that and how to get more out of a, a less amount of space. Saving soil, creating soil, uh, good cover crops for your gardens, uh, what to do 20 to 15 weeks before your average date of the last frost, seed starting supplies, things that you will need, thing on heirloom vegetables, um, tells you about dampening off, what will happen, 10 weeks before your average last frost date, 6 weeks before your average frost date, I mean, it's just a good book to have. I mean, I'm... I'm really uh, oh, I'm excited to be able to use that. Okay. Next thing. Oh, I know what this is because I have one. <laughs> and I'm sure some of y'all are familiar with it. 2019 Old Farmer's Almanac. Now, I don't particularly buy this particular one. I have it um, for 2019 because I get it from the stores here in town. Uh, and I just pick them up every year. But this big, thick one, let's see if it's the same one I've got, yeah, uh, is mostly uh, advertisements and stuff like that. And they got some good, they got some interesting things in it. Now, you know, um, how to tell the difference in your bees and your birds and the pros and cons of backyard livestock, cows and pigs, and, you know, some interesting facts. But I typically will pick up the one from the co-op. It's about, it's a real thin one, maybe 10, 15 pages. It's for our area. And it's still the Old Farmer's Almanac. And it'll have the exact planting dates for everything above ground crops, below ground crops, and stuff like that. I just usually, um, this one's just a little bit harder to understand, you know, for me. But, um, it's, it's got a lot of good information in it, don't get me wrong. I mean, there's there's a lot of good information in, in that one. And I'm looking here to see, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, look at this. 
this. This is a, uh, a gardening apron. Wow! Now, guys, now that's one thing right there, a gardening apron. You put it around you, you got somewhere to put all your tools in here. I mean, now that, yeah, that, that's something that's, um, uh, that's something that's been needed right there. Gardener's apron. I'll have to admit, this is the first one I've ever seen. Um, I've thought about it many times. It's uh, the Napa Valley Gardener's Apron. Um, now that is pretty, let me make sure I got that right. Uh, yeah, Napa Valley Gardener's Apron. Yeah, that's what it, it's wrote right there on it, but I want to make sure that's what it was. This, guys, this is awesome right here. I'll be using this, I, I can tell you right now. Because there's so many times I go to the garden, I, I've got a pair of snippers with me, i got a pair of scissors with me, I'm tying stuff up, I'm snipping leaves off of things, um, i got a little trial because sometimes I'm planting, sometimes I'm scooping dirt out, put a little fertilizer in a hole, cover it back up, and I always have to just hold all these things in my hands, and this right here, now this, is going to be mostly appreciated by Deep South Homestead. I can tell you that now. You'll probably see in the videos of me wearing that. And then, of course, here we have Hoss Tools Heirloom Garden Collection. Now, this is a little tin can. Now, you probably may not be able to see it because of the way the reflection is in the room here from the lighting. But uh, it's an heirloom garden collection. Now, in this particular one, let's see what's in it. I'm just going to dump it out its seeds and it's a handy little tin for keeping seeds in. Okay, we've got trucker's favorite yellow corn, lacinato kale, we call it dinosaur kale, national pickling cucumbers, I actually have some of these planted from Hall's Tools, Benning's green tent squash, I actually have some of these planted from Hall's Tools, mortgage lifter tomatoes, two years ago one of my grew them things, they did fantastic. They made a big tomato. Red burgundy okra. Now, I've never planted the red burgundy okra. I was threatened to do it every year. Just might do it this year. Now, this one I planted religiously, the rattlesnake pole beans. Now, that one, that right there. Um, matter of fact, I'll probably be planting some this week or next week here, depending on how cool it stays. But this is an heirloom garden collection right here. And then guys, once you get through uh, planting your seeds, you've got a nice little tin can here that uh, you can store your other seeds in. And it's, it's rat proof and stuff like that. So I, I, I highly recommend this. Uh, Hoss has some excellent seeds this year. We're helping them try to get the Cherokee tan pumpkin started. Um, I think they're gonna be doing some Seminole pumpkins too. Uh, you know, it's just, it's always, where we in, we really like working with Hall's Tools. Let me put it that way. They're great people over there. Um, Greg and Travis and them are just really good people. Uh, they've been a blessing to us. And I love watching their the two minute tip shows and row by row, I watch that show. Um, and they have lots of good videos out about the Hall's Tools, how to use them the pros and cons on them, the drip irrigation systems, you know, all their gardening and their gardens are just beautiful. I mean, I have to admit that. And I love using their tools because I have several of their products here that I use. Uh, as a matter of fact, I planted sweet corn with their uh, cedar here just a few, uh, like a week ago. Used the row marker and all to go with it to space my rows out just right. So it actually turned out good. But now I'm looking at something else here. Now, <laughs> this, uh, looks like a little small waste basket, but this is actually, uh, what did they call this thing on there? This is a, a Red Gorilla Tub Colander. Now this right here, <clears throat> I can assure you, Deep South Homestead will be using this right here because I see me harvesting red potatoes in this. And when it comes canning time, I can see us piling the potatoes in this thing, taking a water hose and just washing the food out of it. And I can see us uh, picking green beans in it because our soil is a little bit sandy here. And when we pick green beans, 
10 out of 10 times they've got sand on them from where the rain has splattered it up on the plant. And uh, we'll be washing green beans in this. Uh, we pick peas. We're probably washing our peas in this because everything we get, squash, all that, we have to wash it because of the sand. But this, I've just never seen one quite this little. Uh, it's like a miniature wastebasket. But uh, this is one thing we will definitely be using here. Now, this is the Red Gorilla Tub Colander. It's a tub and colander, they're calling it. Now, here is a, a big old box. It's called Bare Bones Hori Hori Ultimate Tool. I'm going to slide this off here because I just, I mean, I have a Hori Hori tool, but I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, let's get a good look here and see. Wow, well, this is a nice one. Okay, it's hooked on the back of this right here, and it's got a strap on it. It's made to hook over your belt right there. It's got a little thing on the back of it. Matter of fact, I'm going to take just a minute here, and we're going to clip all this paper off here so you can see what it is. And get a better view of it because uh, I love I love the one I have, but I'm not sure it's like this one. Okay, there we go. See if we can't get this thing apart where y'all can get a better look at it. There we go. You open it up and look at this, guys. This thing is sharpened on both sides. It's serrated on one side there. This side right here is all, it will actually cut you if you run your finger down it. And the other side is like a knife on that side. So you can see this thing is, is pretty heavy. And it's also got a, right here in this part right here, I'm gonna get that up very close enough so you can see that. Like a can opener. So I take the lids off of stuff with. And if you get a look at it, you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. This thing is, it's a jam up, I'm gonna call it a knife because it's pretty, pretty heavy. I know that's a good digging tool. Boy, if you had to, and it's got the depth gauges on here too, uh, and one inch increments of it. I see that now. So you know how, you know, if you says to plant something one inch deep or two inches deep or three inches or four inches, boy, you know just how deep to go in and you know how deep you are when you get through. So. And then if there's a root or something in the way, uh, that, that serrated edge right there, cut a tree root or something. Uh, dude, that right there, that's a handy little item to have there. And it comes with its own sheath. So let me get this thing put back in here like it goes. There we go. That is nice. I'm telling you, and the sheath itself is made out of some good quality canvas. Uh, snaps over your belt loop on the side of your britches or a belt can go behind it. I see that also. You can do it either way. So you can cultivate, cook, camp, and explore with this knife. So guys, that's an awesome thing to have right there. The Hori Hori, bare bones, Hori Hori tool. All right, that looks like Pretty much, uh, let me get everything out of here. Yeah, that looks like pretty much everything in the box. So, yeah, that is everything in the box. So guys, once again, the Homestead box has come through with a wonderful box this month. It has stuff in it that uh, you know, every homesteader is going to use if you are serious about gardening and homesteading. These two of that basket, everybody has to wash your vegetables because they got sand in them, whether it's lettuce, cabbage, I mean, it don't matter. You gotta always wash your vegetables. The hori hori knife, I mean, God, this thing, this is awesome here. I mean, you can cultivate the ground with it, dig and put bulbs or seeds in the ground. You can use it for cooking, cutting something up. You can, it's a good camp knife, you know, I mean, you think about it. And it's got a, uh, you can, it's got a serrated edge you can cut stuff with. The hoss tools, uh, seeds. You, you never, I'm going to say this, you can never have too many seeds, okay? 
So don't ever think that you can. Don't throw them away. You can never have too many seeds. And Hall's Tool and them have a great selection of them. Um, and this this apron that we looked at here, guys, this right, this is probably my pick right here. Um, I, I mean, this right here, that's, that's probably my pick right there. That's the one thing that I will probably use more than anything else. And it actually has a heavy, it has a heavy plastic guard in it here. So if you're going to put something in that's got sharp edges on it, you don't have to worry about it cutting your canvas. So yeah. So some of my trials are very sharp on the edges and I'm, I can see where that will really, really pay off. And you know, if you're picking stuff, I got, I mean, you can probably put some stuff in your pocket. Tomatoes, few tomatoes, few, uh, cherry tomatoes, things like that. Yellow pear tomatoes. They're probably fit down in that. And it's got a little turnbuckle thing here with a, with a dog, I call it a dog clip, but you could, uh, you can hook something on it there if you have something that needs to hang off of you. Napa Valley Gardener Apron. Guys, that to me, that right there is my pick. That's the pick out of it. Of course, we have the Old Farmer's Almanac and then the Perfectly Timed um, Gardening Handbook there. Uh, so, I, you know, it's, it's a great box. Every month, the Homestead box comes through with stuff that the homesteader needs. So if you want one of these boxes, go to www.thehomesteadbox.com and order yours. Now there's two different price ranges you can go with. When you get to the site, you'll see both of them there. Um, one of them has a certain amount of thing in it. The other one has an advanced amount of things in it. And uh, I think that you will really appreciate them. They make great gifts too, because a lot of times they have boxes from previous months left over that they will sell also. So, or you can do a monthly subscription for X number of dollars a month. Go over to the website, check it out. I think you'll appreciate it. Lots of people have ordered them and contacted us and told us, says, wow, I am so glad I found the Homestead Box through you guys because it has definitely been a blessing in my life. So I guess that's going to be about it here for the Homestead Box, guys. And from Deep South Homestead, this is Danny saying thank you for watching. And guys, check out the Homestead Box. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.